So we've got 14 rams. That's a good high cross there. It didn't take three or four hours to get over there. That's sheep hunting. That's sheep hunting, yeah. I think we kind of overpacked on the food. I think we did too. I think I'm carrying it all. But once I came to the Yukon, I totally fell in love with the Yukon. It's a big one. Ready? I'm really privileged to be a part of this, you know, and uh, three generations, that, that's pretty awesome. You're going to tell me which sheep is the biggest. That's your job. Okay. So there's two in there for sure that are above the eye. Legal for Papa? They ran over the other side of the mountain. No. You're kidding me, right? No. It's going to get way more challenging. This is my fourth year hunting sheep. And the first year is something similar to this territory, rolling hills and not so craggy of mountains. The first year was very successful. You know, we're out for a couple of three days, I think, and on the third day I harvest my ram. Oh, buddy, so proud of you. That was incredible. That was unbelievable. It's my father's first ram. Your first hunt, right? And I, I've hunted a lot of deer and moose over the years, but it was my first sheep hunt. It was amazing. I, I, I truly enjoyed it. And you know when you watch these guys on TV and you just say, oh yeah. It is like, oh yeah. Uh, the next sheep hunt uh, was that amazing shot that I took when he was running away from me. And uh, the joke was that uh, I'm really not a sharpshooter, but let's face it, I really am. I gave Greg a hard time on that one. You hit him, Dad. You don't. You hit him. Good shot. That was an amazing feeling. You know, I'm so, so grateful to have had that happen the way it did. Come on. Oh my God. That did not just happen. Oh. Last year we got away late. We we're into October. And come October, these mountains here will be full of snow. And that's exactly what we we're faced with. We ran into a situation where we were in the snow and snowstorm and we weren't successful. I grew up in the north. This is just another northern day. So the old saying, put up or shut up, right? So I'm going to be quiet. We didn't expect this, but we have it. So we live with it, right? But hunting is hunting. It's not about, it's not, to me, it's not about the kill. We were hunting. We had an awesome hunt. I get to spend time with my son again in the mountains. Now here we are, hunt four in my, my history, and uh, who do I get to hunt with but my grandson. Get back here. So this is my little buddy that I love dearly, right? Yeah, and uh, this is his first hunt. Don't put your eyes so close. Papa, what do you think your favorite animal is to hunt? That's a good question. You know, I've hunted moose, I've hunted deer, I, I've hunted sheep. But you know what I really would like to hunt is a goat. I've never hunted goat, they, they intrigue me. Why would you like to hunt a goat, Papa? Absolutely beautiful animal. People say, well, why do you want to harvest something so beautiful? It's maybe not so much about the harvest as it is the challenge. I love the challenge I always have, and it, it's much more dangerous because you're in a really different terrain, really in the mountains there. I spoke to your dad about this one time. He says, oh, it's pretty tough. He think that sheep hunting is something. He said, try goat hunting. But if the opportunity should uh, arise, I'll take that opportunity. Is your pack tight, good to go? Mm -hmm. A lot of buckles. Mm. Let's do this. Ready, Blue? Coker is a typical Greg. He's uh, like a gazelle or a, an antelope or a mountain goat in these mountains. And on the, he's really good in the terrain. He's a strong little guy. And that's why he got the opportunity to come because he's proven himself already. He's gone and he's never complained. He's worked hard. He's climbed the mountains with us. So I'm so happy to be with him. Did you wait for Papa? Yeah, we'll let him get up here. We just gotta take our time. It's Papa. Warmer than what I thought. I had to take my <laughs> had to take my hood off. I gotta adjust the pack a little bit better. I got like 50 pounds or more weight on me and really not used to carrying that around. I'm used to carrying this little bit of weight around my middle around.
This hunt is particularly special, I think, to all of us. We've talked about this for a lot of years. So to get my son Coulter out on his first big game hunt is pretty great at, uh, at seven years old. It's not every day that that gets to happen. No, and I, I'm really privileged to be a part of this, you know, and uh, three generations, that, that's pretty awesome. There's definitely something in there. What a beautiful spot though, eh? Wow. Yeah, it is great. You see for miles in all directions here. Wow. We got good weather. We got good company. We got lots of food. I think we kind of overpacked on the food. I think we did too. I think I'm carrying it all. I think this is likely the heaviest pack I've ever carried. I've carried 35 pounds, I think, in the past. 35, 40, this is 50. Maybe a little bit better. How much weight do you have in your bag? Probably 15 pounds. 15 pounds? Well, I shouldn't be complaining. So 15 for a guy your size is pretty heavy. <laughs> you can carry me? We'll let you put that bag down and you carry me. It sounds like a plan, Stan. <laughs> you know what time it is, Coulter? I'm guessing 12. Nap time. Hmm. You lay back and have a little nap. We've got 14 rams, not on this closest mountain, but the, the one beyond it. Can't really tell as far as what we've got to look at, but definitely we're seeing some horn on about four of them, but it's just way too far to be able to tell how much horn or any age. That's a good hike across there. It didn't take three or four hours to get over there. How far over there? Oh, four kilometers. Or two kilometers uphill. <laughs> <laughs> That's sheep hunting. That's sheep hunting, yeah. Oh. How many are you counting? Yeah, 10 or 11 for sure. I got 11. So there's three that we're missing somewhere. They could be laying down likely in that brush. What do you say we uh, grab our bags and start moving down into this drainage? Yeah, I think, I think it's time we did something. We gotta get, it's a long hike over there, so we might as well get moving. We wanna keep them in sight as long as we possibly can. You tired of sitting here, buddy? Yeah. Six hours is enough for you? Mm-hmm. You good to go? I'm ready to roll, yeah. Okay, we're gonna drop down into the drainage and it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a hike and make a decision whether we leave our packs there or continue on up the mountain with them. Okay, get going. So once I came to the Yukon, I totally fell in love with the Yukon. It's so beautiful. I mean, you think about this, and I've said this one other time. You might be the first person that ever walked on this mountain. You never know, because a lot of these mountains, people have never came across. When you're walking along, you think about that. You might have been the first person ever here. There's so much to do, eh? You can go fishing any day you want. You can go hunting, you can climb mountains, you can kayak, you can canoe. Uh, it's all here. It's a dream to be here, to be able to do this stuff. Let's find a nice place to sit for Papa so we, he can rest. Have you ever hunted bison? Yes, I did. I never even thought about the bison, but I have. And um, let me tell you, I don't know if I ever want to do that again. <laughs> It was tough. It was cold. It was minus 40. It was minus 40 degrees. So that, that is very cold. In fact, it was so cold, we had to take the snow machines and put them inside the tent, heat the tent up so that it would heat the snow machines up so they'd start. I rolled off the snow machine a few times, went down the mountain doing 90 <laughs> and did a few flips in the air and bounced and I survived. I bounced pretty good for an old guy. Someday you'll be doing it, Coulter. I probably can't go in the winter because um, the snow's like up to here on. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Have a seat. 
So there's your rams. Yeah, I noticed that they're really spread out and actually they moved down a little bit. How many do you see there? Yeah, they're all feeding right now. I see all 14 of them. Wow. And there's a group of two or three of them that are hanging out together that look like they've got the biggest mass, but I'm not seeing anything that is blowing me away. Let's put it that way. I don't like the sounds of that. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Are we going to have to cross this? We sure are. You're going to piggyback me, okay? You take my pack? No. Is that a yes? Yes, If I really needed you to? Maybe. Well, maybe's a start. So you got a plan for crossing this creek and then heading up to that snow patch? That's where the sheep are, right? <sighs> That's where the sheep are. I think that we should move up the drainage, maybe drop our stuff in uh, that little notch there, mm -hmm. and then we'll see how things go from there. Okay. We're gonna do Colt. You're gonna take your pants off. Are you gonna take your pants off? Yep. Let's cross it here, Dad. What? Ah, that's a lot of weight on that foot. Over to this rock, this big one. Ready? Can I just like jump this? Yeah, go ahead. So this one? Let's go up this way. You got this. You got this by yourself. Go. <laughs> okay, go. You got it. Aren't you supposed to know how to tie your own shoes? Yes. It was cold water, but nothing to the extreme. Wasn't like getting in the bathtub, that's for sure. <laughs> So day one is always the most challenging, getting the legs underneath you and getting up out of the valley, buck brush. Been rough, I mean, all that uh, brush, you go one step forward and two step back and then the ground is like a sponge, so it's a workout. Yeah, it's just a little bit more challenging, heavy packs and then days pile on top of days and it just gets easier. Oh, great to hear it. <laughs> well, that's why we're gonna camp right here. We've got rams up the valley. We don't want to get any closer than we are right now. We know that we don't have time to get them this evening. Right. So, and I haven't even 100% validated what's there. Right. I know that there's a few rams that are close. I don't know how good they are. Colton and I are going to go up there on the ridge and see if we can't see them a little bit better tonight. Take this over, over there. Put Colt. It's okay. Go grab the other big pole. Now it goes like that. Grab that corner here. Ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, but there's a there's a hole right here. Oh. I'm depending on to come back the good word. We're close enough now that uh, another day we should be on them. You're going to tell me which sheep is the biggest. That's your job. Okay. Make sure you... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stay back and maybe crawl into my sleeping bag, to be honest with you. I've uh, I put in a pretty good day bashing through that brush and climbing these hills. And there's uh, more climbing tomorrow, so... There's definitely more climbing before this hunt you, is over. You and your son have a good time. <laughs> Let's you and I get going and see what's there, okay? Yeah. Okay, buddy. I 
see the see the snowpack the, the one, for us one on the left they're right underneath you might be able to see right if you look just above these bushes here you might be able to see them you got them um, i think i have one of them okay let's just keep going up see that big clump of trees up there yeah i think we'll be able to see them from there No, I'm counting how many I see. So there's two in there for sure that are above the eye. Legal, legal for Papa. <laughs> one has fairly dark horns, so he might be he might be old. Yeah, the one on the right looks pretty good. Is that the wide one? Yeah. You're right. You like that one better? Uh. It, it comes out quite a bit, like, like it's like this it's kind not, of a. There's not that much curl in it. It, it goes out wide. It kind of comes like a longhorn steer almost. He's the second one in line there, going up the hill. Yeah, you're right. How old do you think he is? Take a look. Can you age him from here? You think he's 10? Yeah. You think he's 10? 10 or 9. 9 or 10? <laughs> you know, as I sit here and watch these sheep and can only hope that tomorrow my dad can get up here and get into a position where we can make something happen. And I know that he's been talking about goat hunting, the steepness of goat country with the objective dangers of rocks and potentially falling and hurting yourself or just just much higher than, than say where I've been hunting sheep in the last little while with him. It would be a real, real challenge for him. And maybe that's why he thinks that uh, he wants to do it because um, well maybe sheep hunting isn't enough challenge, I don't know. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, I'd be there to help him. So we were watching these rams in this basin all day, bedding down in the cliffs, feeding. It's almost like they're living there. And then for the last hour and a half, we've been watching them, kind of going to put them to bed and get up first thing in the morning. And just the last five minutes, just watch them all kind of group up and walk up to the ridge and then just literally started running in the opposite direction. Yeah, you know, they obviously they didn't see us or anything. I have no idea why they would have done that, but I know for sure that that's not good. The thing is, I know better. It's, you know, you they're right there. We had enough time. We could have got my dad in a position tonight and we chose not to, to do it the next day. And it was absolutely the wrong move. I knew in my gut that it probably, it wasn't a good idea. And now it's gonna get way more challenging. What's going on? And there's some good news and some bad news. Good news and bad news. Let's start with the good news. The good news is um, there's three illegal rams, but I think something spooked them and they ran over the other side of the mountain. No. Mm -hmm. No, you're not, you're kidding me, right? No. Oh, that is bad news. Mm -hmm. The way they just busted out of there? Yeah, like full on run. Opposite direction, full on run. Hunting is hunting, right? Nothing comes easy. They were there. We could have got one today. We 100% could have got one today. I guess another day like today is another day like today. We'll have to do what we have to do, right, buddy? Well, we are where we are, so more mileage. More mileage. Are you up for more mileage? Mm-hmm. Let's do it then. Pack your bags, let's go. 
tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to climb into my sack and hopefully not have any bad dreams. I'll have good dreams and think about catching up to these guys tomorrow. So give me five. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, Dad. 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 Good night,